Cocktail Conversations, candid insights from startup founders, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders from around the globe. About a year ago, a year and a half ago, there was a number of us, particularly Zappos employees and a few non-Zappos employees who basically said, like, if we're going to live here and be in the tech world, we want to be a part of something bigger than we are. So we felt like we, we really had a feeling there was a lot more here. We had a lot more people here doing really cool things. We just didn't know who they were. And so we set out to, to kind of bring people together and we started a jelly and that was about April of last year. So from that one jelly came uh, two or three startup weekends, a bunch of different hackathon events, um, a co-working space is forming out of that, a bunch of these small community groups have formed and a bunch of companies that are not only formed here out of that group, but we've had you know, eight, nine, ten companies relocate here from other parts of the country, Seattle, San Francisco and elsewhere, who were inspired by what that community became. Uh, the diversity is very interesting. Um, you know, we the, the one sort of common theme between uh, all the different companies that have been have visited and either relocated here, whether it be as a result of an investment by the by a tech fund or or otherwise, um, have all been people that that are very focused on on building communities. So perhaps their their product requires a really interesting community of developers or people or hackers to, to make things successful. An example of that is Remotive, um, a company we met via Kickstarter who was going through Techstar Seattle, uh, who, who got inspired by what we were doing and, and we equally as inspired by what they were doing. And, and for them to be successful, they need to build a, a robotics programming ecosystem. And they really want to be on the ground, engage in the community, and have people hack on the robots, hack on their API. And so clearly community matters to them. And, and clearly that aligns well with what we're doing. So we had kind of a common view of the world. Um, the one company that's completely different from Remote is a company called Digital Royalty, who um, that does a number of different things like social media consulting, they're building a social media university, um, and they of course need community to help not only um, teach, but help people teach each other. But one of the things that we really look for is people that are as equally um, interested in, in giving something back to the community and being a part of growing the Vegas Tech community and helping other people be successful as they are of being, being successful themselves. Um, and one way you get that is, is by just kind of creating an environment where these founders, these employees, these companies can just hang out in the community. Um, so when we are introduced to a company, whether it be um, they, you know, that they reach out to us or someone we know reaches out to us and says, hey, you guys see these guys, we almost immediately say, hey, come, come visit Vegas. There's about a 99% chance that you won't pitch the partners while you're in Vegas. And, and it's, it's sort of weird to say that, but it's true. And generally it's because about, you know, about we, we, we actually value more about more what the community has to say about your company and what, you know, what people that know your business and have experienced your world have to say about what you do. Um, then, then we then we care about our own opinions because at the end of the day, what do I know about robotics? I very very little, um, but there are people in our community who know a lot about it, and we would much rather get their feedback about your company because we consider it to be credible versus ours. And um, and then the, the second piece is we really want to make sure that you're a fit for the community that's here already, and that you're help you want to be a part of of, of helping to inspire the, the the growth of the community, a positive force. I think um, to be the co-working capital of the world really kind of goes to the heart of the idea of helping each other uh, do amazing things. You know, co-working doesn't have to be in a co-working space, it can be in a park, it can be on the street corner. The, the co-working capital of the world is a, um, is a symptom of, or a, sort of a descriptor of uh, a place where you're surrounded by a like, totally different type of people than you normally would find yourself if you stay in an office or, or sort of selected the group that sits around you. Um, like a developer sitting next to an artist. You never know what kind of amazing inspiration is going to come from that, that type of environment. So the best ideas in the world come from the places that you least expect it. And the co kind of creating an environment of co-working, whether it be in a space or otherwise, um, allows people to have those experiences one, two, three, twenty-five times a day. And that's what we, we, we aspire to create. Downtown Vegas is, is rapidly becoming a place that, that makes you smarter, a place that helps you to learn new things in the places that you least expected it. Um, you're surrounded by people that are that are doing amazing work and, 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 and are very interested in helping you be successful for no material gain. And I think if you want to be in an environment where all the positive things uh, come to you that, 
um, that you that you have to really seek out in a place like Silicon Valley, where I've lived, and where you know a lot of people um, are now, or, or even in, in a newer kind of growing place like Austin. Uh, you want to live in a place that, that sort of values equality, values support, values your ideas, um, and wants you to share them with, with someone else, or who ultimately wants to create an environment where you can you can live out your dreams and follow your passions, and that kind of is for you. Mm -hmm.